Welcome back to Perks Recap. Back at it once again. We're hitting Iron Butterfly today. And I got a DaVita. It's a song that I definitely have heard before. I don't know it all that well, to be honest, but I definitely have heard it. Um, this is a different performance. I believe this is kind of like a performance, a live performance with the, they're actually lip syncing. But, and it's an, it's an old performance, obviously. Um, it's not in front of an audience or anything. Um, and it's in black and white, obviously. But either way, it's 17 minutes long. So it's going to be a, on the longer side, obviously. But I'm excited for it because from what I remember of the song, it's really, really good. And I really, really enjoy it. I don't know much about Iron Butterfly at all. Um, we'll do it as we always do when we don't know an artist. Well, at the end, I'll go through everybody who's in the band and everything. Um, at least get that information out there to you but that's going to do it um in terms of the setup i don't really have much else to say um because i just want to dive right in so please make sure you like comment subscribe and hit the notification bell and let's get started iron butterfly and i got it video this is from 1968 it says original full version cd sound in 3d video let's check it out Ah, the bass. Ooh. It's a classic bass. Everybody knows it. <clears throat> In a god of a fleet of honor, don't you know that I'm loving you? In a god of a fleet of paper, don't you know that I'll always be true? Oh, won't you come with me? And I'll take my hand. Oh, won't you come with me? And I'll walk this land. Please take my hand. In a god of a beat of honor Don't you know that I'm loving you? In a god of a beat of baby Don't you know that I'm always the true? Take my hand Oh, won't you come with 
pause there during the solo at all i never like to pause during solos and uh that would have been terrible anyway um wow first of all we got a guitar solo from both guitarists and that were both excellent for sure no doubt about it but i gotta say the thing that's driving this entire song is the bass the bass is the is the one constant and it's yeah it's the basis of, for, for the whole song it's setting the tone for the whole song the keys as well to a degree, but not as much. The bass is what's is what's uh, setting up for the entire song. Now, I do have some questions. Um, now, this is not in front of any people, and I was told that they're lip syncing during this, you know, on purpose. It's not, it, it's not them singing at the time. Are they also mimicking their performance? And is this also not a live performance? I, I'm a little confused. Is the song itself, like on the CD or on the cassette, whatever you want to, however you want to say, the studio recording that you would buy in the store, that's not a live version, is it actually a 17-minute song? Because they're saying, what I was told is they just play, they're, they're just playing the song from the studio that off the CD, and it's like a music video almost, they're lip-syncing it, and, um, but the CD is what's actually playing. So does that mean, I, I kind of thought it was like more of like a live performance where they were lip syncing the, the, the lyrics and then they were taking parts of the CD and then extending this out for these solos and all these other things. But maybe the song itself is actually 17 minutes long. I will check it out. I will look it up to find out. But if it is, is that the longest song? That's got to be one of the longest songs ever in terms of recorded in a studio for to be on a regular CD. I mean, a lot of these, a lot of the songs in the '70s, a lot of the the albums in the '70s, would have been 38, 40 minutes long total. And this is one song that's seventeen minutes. Um, I know there's other songs that are longer or as long or longer, um, but still, this is a long one if it is just off the studio. All right, let's resume. See that bass? Setting the whole thing up. It's all about the bass. Oh. Drum solo? Drum solo?
What is that? There's not enough drum solos. I say it all the time. There's one simple vision hack anyone can use to improve vision. Don't blame me here. I didn't pause it during the drum solo. There's an ad during the drum solo. I couldn't, there's nothing I can do about that. Um, anyway, but I will talk about it. Uh, I say it all the time, I said it just then, that there's not enough drum solos. I don't know why there's not, they're not more of a staple, but they're not. And uh, I really appreciate it when I, when I do hear one. And this one is excellent. And again, is this part of the song? Like I've heard in the God of Vita before, but I don't know if I've heard heard it in its entirety or just parts of it or just the 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 bass line that I that I've been talking about um but I don't remember ever hearing these big these long solos for the guitars and this and this drum solo I don't remember this whatsoever so again I'm not even sure if I've actually heard the entire thing maybe it's more of I like I knew of the song but not really ever heard it in its entirety or really sat down and listened to it um, but regardless, this is excellent. This is so, so good. Get right back to it. There's three seconds left in this ad, so we'll be able to skip. And uh, that's exactly what we'll do. Let's resume. So you can say goodbye to your optometrist for good. Did you know? Keys again. Where's the bass? It's got to come back. Okay, to be fair, the ad was after the solo was over. It wasn't during the drum solo. To be fair. Now, is it like a, a solo for the keys now too? Each instrument? Yeah. What? 
There's the base. song is almost over but i wanted to say one last thing here um each person got a chance to have a, a solo had a chance to shine and if you ever go to a, a, a concert of a band not in not like just one headliner like one name an actual band um with band members that are there you know they're part of the band usually at some point or another they will um give each band member a chance to uh kind of go off on their own do a solo for a little bit um, and then come back and everybody else, uh, rejoins, but they incorporated that into their song, into this song. Again, I'm not sure what, what this is really, if this really is a 17 minute song, um, I will find out hopefully. Um, but if that's the case, then they incorporated that, that into their song. And that's really, really cool. Cause when I go to a concert, I like to see that. I like, I like uh, when that happens. Um, but usually it's not really a song. It's just the, you hear the drums for a little while doing a solo and a guitar or, um, well, guitar solos not as much because they they have their own solos really during songs, but a bass or whatever the case is. Um, and they did it in a song and I don't know that that's just really, really unique to me and really, really cool. Like I said, this is almost over. 
Uh, about two minutes. Two minutes left. Let's finish it up. In a god of a vida, baby. Don't you know that her home has been true? Oh, won't you come with me? So there you have it, Indigata da Vida, um, Iron Butterfly, a band I don't really know much about, and I've done the uh, research I was saying, and it is a 17 minute and 5 second song on the actual album from 1968, um, I believe it's 1968, let's see here, yep, the album is called Indigata da Vida actually, um, and it is the entirety of side two on the album. All of side two is just the one song, this song that we just did. Um, so that's interesting, first of all. Um, let's get to the personnel, because I was definitely impressed by some people here. Um, Eric Brand is on uh, guitar uh, and uh, backing vocals. He's on lead vocals for one song on this album. Um, Ron, Bushy's on, Ron Bushy or Bushy is on drums. And uh, he had the drum solo. He was very, very impressive. Um, Lee Dorman's on bass. And of course, the bass, like I said earlier, dr drives pretty much the entirety of the song other than the solos. And then Doug Engel is on the organs and on vocals. And um, I don't know of any of these guys, but I, Doug Engel sounds familiar. But regardless, this is an all-time classic Um if you don't know it, maybe you were like me where you've heard of it or you've heard parts of it, but you never heard it in its entirety. I definitely haven't heard this in its entirety. That's for sure. Now that I know for sure that it is that it was on the album for 17 minutes, I seem to remember now that somewhere along the way I picked up that it was super, super long. But, you know, again, years, decades ago. So it doesn't really matter. Um because I really, really enjoyed it. Everybody on this album had a chance to impress, and they all did. So, um, once again, I want to thank Bob for the suggestion and the donation that he gave me for this. Um, this is the second song that he asked for. And as I said in the last song, um, the, the Roy Clark song that I just did, um, he donated and suggested this months ago, and it slipped through the cracks. So, if you ever donate and you suggest a song to me, make sure you, you, you stay on in terms of if you haven't seen it pop up in a while and it's been a f you know at least a few weeks or whatever two three weeks drop me a line and say hey you know did you forget about this or do you know when you're going to get to this and i'll let you know what's going on i'm usually really good with it i'm usually right on top of it but every once in a while a song will slip through the cracks so make sure i get to the song that you suggest because i have no problem doing it and if I did, it would be just an honest mistake. If I missed it, it would just be an honest mis mistake that I uh, I screwed something up along the way. I'm definitely not above doing that. But anyway, once again, thank you, Bob, for this one. Thank you for sticking with me for this long, long reaction, this long song. But again, I really, really enjoyed it. Hopefully you did too. And until next time, I will see you later. <laughs>